vision of the by adopting prior to January 10th this year, a resolution prescribed the date time of implementation of all regular meetings of the commission. This meeting is one of the meetings listed in such resolution and copies of the resolution were prior to January 10th filed for the borough. The motion to file the minutes from the February 6th, 2023. Second. I'm going to file the following report is report last quarter in general. Second. Uh, yes, let's do the ordinances. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's introduce all these. Let Judge Solomon take his call. All right. We have the second reading in public hearing of Ward 1756, appropriated $666,609.11 from the American Rescue Act funds for improvements to the ordinance structure. This was pretty self explanatory when they came into the feds and everybody got out and spent a big chunk of it on sewer improvements. Uh, anyone here would like to be heard on this ordinance? Oh. Mayor Bailey? Yes. Commissioner Lewandowski? Yes. Commissioner Robinson? Yes. We have a second reading public hearing of Ordinance 1757 approving amendments to the Borough Code Department Enforcement of Electric Vehicles. So, this has been ordered simply setting up new parking um, uh, requ uh, requirements, kind of the rules on charging stations. Uh, about how that gets uh, regulated and uh, gets handled a little bit differently than parking spaces in which you're not charging your vehicle. Um, this is a second reading. Anybody want to? Uh, anybody want to bring anything before the the commission? Comments, questions, anything? Oh, Mayor Bailey. Yes. Mayor Bailey. Yes. Mayor Robinson. Yes. We the first reading of Ordinance 1769. Regulate traffic direction at lot 15, lot 9601, and authorizing the telling of unauthorized and abandoned motor vehicles. So, this is the first reading. The second reading will be at our April 3rd meeting. Huh? Mayor Bailey? Yes. Commissioner Lewandowski? Yes. Commissioner Robinson? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, we'll go to our flick. Yeah, so we're ready. Okay. Um, how we have a resolution? Yes. Yeah. Appointing Brian Herman as municipal court judge for the borough Commons. Yes. 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 You can clap. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's why most of you're here. Is sort of, that's how you go. That's how you go. So just for those of you for calling the folks that may not recognize the Adam Heights Commissioner, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Lee Solomon, Justice of the New Jersey Supreme Court is here to swear in. Our new municipal court judge. It's great to have you here. I've known, uh, known the justice for way too many years. Way too many years. So it's great to have him here, uh, Brian. Congratulations. Thank you. And we'll let you go on. Yep. Yep. We'll see you back. Thank you. 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 Brian, if you raise your right hand, I, Brian Herman. I, Brian Herman. Do solemnly swear. Solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution. And the Constitution. Of the state of New Jersey. Of the state of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the state. And allegiance to the state. And to the governments established and the governments established in the United States and the United States and in this and in this state under the authority of the people under the authority of the people and that I will perform and that I will perform the duties of the duties of judge of the municipal court judge of the municipal court impartially impartially faithfully faithfully and justly and justly to the best of my ability to the best of my ability to give you your thank you
Is most of this crap here with you? <laughs> so, what time is the bar open? <laughs> Yes, it's a new, right? Is that why the dance is way more with the Much more slider. You can, you can. You can Join the club. Join the crowd, Diana. There I don't know if that works. All right. <laughs> oh, we're letting everybody. Yes. Class of the Smith, you all know. You know, I have to leave you. Fish. No, no thing for you. Right. You're a dog. 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 I <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Do you want me to record? Yes. All right. I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York.
of works right up here uh, at that crucial uh, M County residency. All the, the regular stuff there. So play out that basement, the garage. And the week before the Green Bay bus will not the same day. Right. Okay, I don't have anything to add. Add it up. Who, who uh, open up to the public? Anyone have anything to like to bring before the commission? Go ahead, Elder. Go ahead. Name and address. You just stand there. That's fine. Just name and address for the record. Elder Hill, um, 2070 Bradley Road, in Longwood. And thank you for listening to me tonight. Uh -huh. I'm here. Uh, this week, I think you've heard about already, and I just wanted to get part of this once. <laughs> And that is the Goganza plan from Camden. Um, it's now 34 years old, uh, low back lifetime. And the concern is that there is a new plan to burn uh, liquid industrial waste in it, which um, is part of a lot of concern of this site, particularly because it hasn't been well for something, but also because the um, Pacific. I never have a memory to show all the other bands. Um, and the other program is then kind of and that um, as um, uh, an avenue that is a more interpretation that can be coming out of it. It's a very high school. It is the highest where the air pollution is. Our air, our air quality is actually very cool. You probably know that. And this is certainly one big contributor. Plus, of course, it's a gambit in a very um, overburdened area, so it's a, it's a matter of environmental justice. It's this station is a matter of environmental justice. Okay, so that's where we're coming from. And now uh, there are three main issues that we'd like to, uh, to kind of bring forward and keep talking about. One is that it should close. It should close. Now, obviously, it can't close right this minute because we have a 25th close and there isn't an alternative plan. So what we're asking is that this um, body has a, a piece of the um, businesses that support the business of those there, that we let the county know that don't give them a multi-year contract. They've already paid for their life span. A one year, a, a one year, but let's look for alternatives. It's really hot. So that's the first thing. Don't give them a multi-year contract, a one year contract instead. The other thing is that, and I think this is a, a pretty much a home breaker, but um, our group um, of concerned citizens would like to see the county hire a zero waste award well, zero waste. And the idea there is to examine every avenue that we can possibly use to shrink down our waste stream and to reuse, like for instance, the food waste. Let's reuse that, let's compost that, let's not be burning it. So a zero waste coordinator for County and County is something that I would love to see our uh, commissioners and they are advocating for the problem because again, we are customers of this plan. And the, and the less we have to uh, make the work, you know, that goes in there, the better what we are and our air is better. And then thirdly, um, we, want to, we want to see removed from the contract. You all know that there was no bid for the first contract. Nobody, nobody Nobody said, all right, we'll do it. Okay, so it's going to have to be good. And uh, we'd like to see removed from the language of the final term um, the idea that it's just for incineration. That loved in the first language. And we don't want to see the county again uh, bottleneck with incineration being our only avenue of disposal of waste. So that's the three things. And if you wish, um, you know, that you'd like to consider that. Consider yourselves an advocate um, with the county. And if there's anything further that we can talk about with you on that, we would be very happy to go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Yeah, Wayne Rossi, 114 Spalmer. Um, yeah, I, I agree with pretty much everything Eleanor just said. I really think, you know, right now, you know, the reason we're coming at this is not that we think that Collingswood should like just up and find its own, you know, landfill to be dumping into right now, but that there's a three-year contract up for bid. And this is the time that we can have any effect on, on pressuring, you know, to, to improve the situation for the long haul. I, I do think it's important, you know, um, 
as we're talking about, you know, I saw that there was a sustainable Jersey um, resolution in, in this, which is great. Uh, but I, I do think that we need to be talking about zero waste uh, as we're, you know, right now we are dumping our, you know, we're going to have a green festival next month, but we're dumping our trash and, and we're incinerating it and it's going into the lungs of the children playing. You know, you can actually see from the children's playground the smokestack of that Covanta incinerator in Camden. Um, you know, and, and it's also coming into the lungs of our children. You know, it's uh, asthma in Camden County is ridiculously high because of air quality. <clears throat> So I, I would um, like to see us, you know, and I, I think that, um, and, and I, I think that it's particularly important because the the townships need to have the the say before essentially the county can do anything um, as far as this process goes. Um, so I, I support that and I agree with that completely. Uh, the other thing uh, I wanted to ask about uh, tonight. Um, was, I think it's been two or three years since we actually passed the uh, community choice um, bill, and I haven't seen where that's gone. So I'd like to know more about um, where that is and what's been going on with that. Yeah, so I think a couple of things. Um, we continue to stay in touch with the consultant. As you know, the, 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 um, the ordinance that that you help pass put in hard markers every year. And essentially it made it that we could not get that price below a tariff price, which means you know we can't do it. It's one of the reasons why originally we say we don't think it's a good idea because the markets are fluid. And the idea of getting something is, is better than getting nothing. But that wasn't, you know, it was what it was. Um, the, uh, uh, the PSNG Board of Public Utilities just came out with the uh, work on their new tariff rates. So that is essentially the, you know, the, the, the basic rate per kilowatt hour for electricity. Our consultant is taking that information and uh, working through some other numbers to see about viability of going out to market this time. If it was, we're, you know, we're hoping to get better, more feedback in late April because that's when they're getting more data to to respond to it, and then we'll see, you know, see where it goes from there. Um, but again, you know, the idea is, is it, you know, it has to be, you know, below the tariff rate or or at or above the tariff rate. So that's what we're. Asking. Anyone else? Okay, we're adjourned. Okay.